Hi guys, how are you today? Welcome back to another video. Today's video may look familiar to you again. As with re-uploading Create This Book, I'm going through and I'm re-uploading some older videos with new audio that sounds a little better. So this book, to do a little introduction, if you missed the original video, this is Create Plus Destroy by Piccadilly Inc. It is another art prompt journal similar to something like Wreck This Journal or Create This Book, which are also on my channel. Uh, basically, the prompts are, this one's more similar to Wreck This Journal. The prompts are about creating art and also destroying the book. So some prompts are more creative in nature and some are a little bit more destructive. It just depends on the prompt. So here I am. I'm just flipping through the book, showing you a little bit about it. And we're going to go ahead here in a second and we're going to get started on the first page. The first prompt I selected was the one that said cover these pages with strips of tape. You can use different kinds of tape. This prompt made me very excited. I have a box of washi tape, which you'll see here in a second. And I really want to do something with this washi tape. Um, I thought something like scotch tape was a little too plain, so what I'm doing here is I'm drawing some lines with a white color pencil. I tried to freehand them, but I'm terrible at drawing straight lines, to be honest with you. So I took out a ruler and I started making the lines a little more straight. So my thought for this one was that I was going to take the washi tape, and if you're unfamiliar with washi tape, it's like a colorful crafting tape, but I was going to take the washi tape and turn them into spines on a book. So here I am, I'm just coloring in the bookshelf, making it stand out a little more, and the reason I picked white over brown for the bookshelf is because... One, I have a white bookshelf, but two, I thought it looked better on the page than the brown bookshelf would since the paper was black. So I was just beefing out the bookshelf a little bit, giving a little more um, dimension there. There I showed you my box of washi tape, so I'm just going through and I'm cutting the spines of the book here, various heights just to make them look like books and give it a little more dimension as well, make it look a little more realistic. So I'm just going through and I'm putting them straight up and down and making some lean like they would on a bookshelf. So here I am um, just doing them. Is there a favorite washi tape you see? I think my favorite, and it's a little hard to see from here, is the one with the bananas on it, which is kind of funny because if you've seen some of my other videos, I mentioned that I really hate bananas, but I don't know why. It just looks kind of silly to me having bananas. I also like the one that says cat lady. I am definitely very much a cat lady. So after I had finished the spines of the book, I realized they didn't really look too much like books at this point. I wanted to make them read as books. So what I did is I went in with a sharpie and I gave them lines that would go on the spine. You know how books, if you look at a spine of a book, they usually have lines on them. And just like that, that page was complete. This is how it looks completed. I love how it turned out. I love that some of the washi tape has gold foil on it. It really makes them stand out. And that's that page. The next page I selected is one of my favorites. It says, make this spread feel like a day at the pool. Cover it with things you'd have poolside. Don't forget the sunscreen. Include a drawing of an epic pool floaty. So I started out drawing the epic pool floaty and then I drew a beach ball. I included the sunscreen first or next. And then I just went in and I drew some things that you would have at the pool. Some goggles, some sunglasses, pool noodle, flip flops, anything you find at the pool really. Do you guys like going to the pool? I sort of have mixed feelings. I enjoy it, but I don't know. <laughs> it's, you know... So it's, I haven't been to the pool in so long, to be honest with you, but going, I do remember going to the water park when I was younger and that was a lot of fun going down this, the water slide thing. So here I am, I took out my Posca, not my Posca, my Micron fine liner and I just outlined everything. I then went in with alcohol markers and I started coloring everything in. I started with that pool floaty and then I just went to the sunscreen next, moving on. And then I started coloring in the bathing suit. I'm just, at this point, blocking in all the colors. And then I'm going in, adding some shadows, some highlights, giving everything a little more dimension so it's not so flat. 
and I was just trying really to think of things that you would find poolside. So I did like a pool bag as well um, because you need something, a tote to put everything in. I just recently went to the beach for the first time. Well, not the first time, the first time in a while. And I forgot how much I enjoy the beach, but also how crazy the ocean is. Like, there's no end to it. It's just so, like, expansive. But it's so much fun, and the waves knocked me over and rolled me around. And you know how it goes if you've been to the beach. (laughs) But it was fun anyway. But this is about the pool, not so much the beach. But I feel like the pool is kind of beach adjacent, depending on where you live and where you are. Um, I also drew a bomb pop because they remind me of being at the pool and summertime and where I live the pools are really only open at least the ones outdoor in the summertime. After I was done coloring in all the objects I came in and colored in the background. I wanted it to feel like water like these objects were so I wanted to give them a ground but I thought it'd be cool to have them kind of floating on some water. So then I went in with a shadow color so everything looked like it stood out there and that page was complete just like that I love how this one turned out I think it's so colorful and so much fun and it really gives me those summer vibes that we're all looking for the next page I selected actually has two prompts on it some page some of these books have or some pages have two prompts so the first prompt on the right said to create a phobia The left one says, create your own solar system here. So I do these kind of one after the other. I started with the creative phobia section. And for this one, it's something that's kind of freaky. I think when I first read this prompt, I thought of death. Death's a little freaky. It's uncertain, et cetera, et cetera. So I drew a my rendition of a fairly famous gravestone. I believe it's called Angel of Grief. You'd have to look it up, but basically it's this tombstone with a carving statue of an angel thrown over it as if she's grieving. So I wanted a little more practice with humans. I'm terrible at drawing them and practice with my alcohol markers. So I drew this angel of grief and I just colored everything in. I started building those values with some gray alcohol markers, really getting in there, really making it, you know, look like a statue. And I think it really added to the mood of this piece, how it's kind of somber. So here I am just adding those shadows, really building upon them. Then I colored in the background and this page was complete. That one didn't take too, too long and I love how it turned out. Moving on to making my solar system, I wanted it to be on a black piece of paper, so I took out this black Bristol paper. I then took out a circle template I had. I just started drawing circles for the planets. I then have, I love trying new art supplies, so I have these Prismacolor art stick things. They're basically woodless colored pencils. I think I got them on clearance or something. I wanted to give them a try. You can see here I'm using them similar to you would pastels, but they're not like pastels. They're literally like colored pencils without the wood body of them. So I tried blending them like you would a pastel at first, and then I realized that's really not going to work because they're just colored pencils. So I gave that up pretty quickly, but here I am. I'm just using similar colors and going in and coloring in each planet, making them a little different. And I gave them all a highlight because there's a sun in my solar system and a dark side where the sun currently is not shining. Um, My planets aren't really lined up in any solar system type way, as you can tell, because um, they're not really, you know, floating around anything. And I didn't draw the sun, but I had so much fun with this. I love the colors. I love trying these new art sticks. Um, I don't know, They're f- the art sticks are fun, it's almost like using a pastel, but it isn't, so it really threw me off, it was difficult to use, and if you're familiar with pastels, you know that they're smooth and blendable, and you blend them with your finger, or a one of those tools that I was using, but it was just challenging, because it kept wanting to treat it that way. After I was done, I gave my solar system a few little stars to really draw, draw this and complete it all together. I cleaned up my space, glued it in the book, and just like that, these two pages were complete. 
out of these two, which is your favorite? I love how they look next to each other. They're so contrasting. You have the angel on one side, the solar system on the other. But I think they look great. And I want to know what you guys think, as always. Which page of the three that I completed was your favorite? Uh, what did you think of this book, Create Plus Destroy? Would you try this for yourself? Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I'll catch you for the next video. Music